594, good afternoon. It is 1.45 p.m. and it just started raining again, which is fine with me because the car is inside and we can still use rain. You can already see that everything's greening up, which is great news for my wallet. Sitting here playing with Lion, trying to figure out some of the new features. I just figured out that it's two fingers left. Well, when I'm not in a settings window. Oh, now it doesn't work. Why not? There it is. That's how I get to my notification center. Like that. I actually had to Google that because I knew there was a way to do it without clicking the button, and apparently that's it. So it's actually pouring right now. That's a good rain. Look at that. Friggin' right. Definitely need that. Watching Saab Cattle 04 reviews, review of the new XTS, and these Cadillacs are getting a lot better. Let's just say that. Leave some comments below with what your thoughts are on the new Cadillacs, the new CTS, the ATS, and the XTS. I'm actually pretty impressed. Uh, the tail lights are kind of ugly, but it's an ML63. I prefer the G Class, and I think the MLK? Whatever the, the smaller square SUV is, it's like a little X3. I like that one a lot more than the ML. Something I haven't seen for a while, a Quattroport 4.7. Very nice, welcome to Hudson. Just parked downtown, it looks like uh, our buddy's out in his 427 tonight. Gorgeous night to be out there, really nice. At least right now. The windows are fine. Moon. Much better than the pop cards, eh? Yeah. Not great, but better than the Pop-Tart. It doesn't quite look like an F10. No, it, it looks really nice though. This is probably the one I heard before that sounds incredible. There it goes. That's uh, a little bit of sound. Not a lot. I a little bit. But uh, I'll take the M car, but that thing sounds better. We were just saying we prefer the styling of the F10 M5 better. That That is a better sound. And performance-wise, I think they're right on top of each other. We got a pretty good sunset here. If we can get the white balance. Hold on. No, if, we, if I get the white balance right. And there it goes. No ocean at George's, but it looks pretty good. Enough. Enough? Hi. I can go back to this. Yeah, buddy. There we go. Friggin' right. That's how you do it in the Jackura. And stop. Beautiful parking. Great song. Leave a comment on the... What is it? Good song. Good song. Looks like it's about 10 to 2 in the a.m. I'm getting pretty tired. Didn't show you this. I spent probably three hours. Actually, three hours and 14 minutes. 2 o'clock to 5.14 uh, in here working on my glove box. You know that strut broke in there? Well, I figured out how to take it apart and down, and I got everything out. And, oh my god, all I can say is BMW totally engine over-engineered that glove box. There is so much stuff in there. I took out probably like 10, 20 screws. Every one of them is a different color and material and size and length. So I got all the screws out, and there's a bunch of nuts in there. Um, there's like five wiring adapters for the power in the glove box, the latch, um, the, the depression switch that turns the light on, plus the light. Anyways, I got it apart, I took the old strut out, I ordered a new one today, it'll be in uh, the 3rd or the 4th of August, and it's going to be a pain in the ass to put back together. Uh, I have it put back together right now, except I put the latch in backwards so it doesn't latch all the way up, because I wasn't able to screw it in, so I'm going to have to uh, re redo that when I take it back apart, but I'll get it fixed, it's just a pain in the ass. I bet BMW could have done it in a lot less time than I did, but it would still be probably $200 for them to do that. So if I can do it myself, think about the area I'm working with in there. I've got to move the seat all the way back and down, and you can't sit in there and look under it because it doesn't go back far enough before it hits the back seat. It's not that big of a car. Um, so you end up putting a towel down on the threshold there and laying on your back, and I can barely walk. It is so uncomfortable. But I'm gonna stop complaining now. Today was a good day. We had a good night. Um, we had a band downtown, which was cool, and a couple cars and stuff Saturday night here. And it rained this afternoon, as you saw, which was good. That's okay. car was inside, so I don't care. And uh, everything's starting to be green and, and grow again, but you can't see anything because this camera sucks at night. But I'm going to go in now, uh, re-zero out the WLP, because there's probably another 10 in there from today. Um, 
It's beautiful out here. It's like 66. It feels like San Diego. It's very, very, very comfortable. But anyways, that's it for me today. Tomorrow's Sunday. I don't really know what's going on, and uh, I'll fill you in tomorrow, early afternoon, most likely. Good night.